Hey guys, so today we're going to talk about head gaskets. Um, some of this information uh, will be M20 specific. Um, some of it will kind of cross over to different engines, uh, even different manufacturers, because it, some of the information is a little more broad. Um, when we get down to the specific head gaskets, we're going to be just talking about M20 head gaskets. Now, um, there are three OEM manufacturers. There are, there's one OE gasket and then there's two other gaskets to, you might use in your build. So first off, uh, I want to thank Steve over at Blunt Tech for supplying the OEM head gaskets. And I want to thank Levent over at Guten Parts for having the uh, OE head gasket on the shelf. Anyways, so back to this. We have uh, MLS, cut ring, OEM, and OE. Let's talk about the two that I don't have here. MLS, which is multi-layer multi steel, and cut ring. Um, now, multi-layer steel head gaskets work really well if you need a specific thickness uh, and you need to change your compression ratio. They do that very well. The only issue with MLS is they require a specific RA, or roughness average, on the head and the block. So if you're just doing a head gasket, chances are you're not going to be pulling the engine. So you're not going to be able to get it resurfaced to the proper RA. You'll get the head right, but you won't get the block right. Uh, and that could be a potential fa failure. So that's the only reason why I don't recommend MLS. They do have their place though. Next is cut ring. Cut ring work really well. They work as good as having an OE head gasket and an O-ring block, which is what I, my kind of formula I've always recommended. The only issue with cut ring is they're a little expensive. Um, you could save probably, uh, I want to say about 100, 150 bucks uh, if you did the O-ring yourself, rented the tool, did the O-ring, and just used a, an OE gasket. Um, maybe even a bit more. I don't know what they go for now, but I know they're kind of expensive. Uh, the, the only other issue with, um, well, there's two. One's an issue, one's not really an issue, but the only other thing with a uh, cut ring head gasket um, and Boris uh, supplied these pictures, which you're going to see. He drag races his E30. Crazy build, really good guy. Uh, if a cut ring head gasket failure fails catastrophically, the ring could actually get into the cylinder. If that happens, you could have, you know, you're going to have damaged valves, you're going to have a damaged head, you're going to have damaged cylinder walls, possibly block, pistons. So quite a lot can happen. Now, chances are you're never going to have that failure, but I always like having kind of a, you know, a fuse and even the O-ring with the head gasket versus the cut ring, um, you still kind of have, I think, a better fuse with the, with the O-ring block versus the cut ring head gasket. But if you maybe don't want to rent it or you just maybe don't have uh, you don't think you have the skills to overing the block, which is really easy, honestly. There's quite a bit of information online. Um, and you want to go with the cut ring, then that's fine. Now, we're going to talk about the three, four gaskets we have here. You have OE, which is original equipment, and you have OEM, which is original equipment manufacturer. So for the M20 motor, there's three OEM manufacturers. L-ring, GOATS, and Victor Ring. Um, by the way, if someone could tell me how to say goats or goatsy or however it's said, I'd appreciate it because I have no idea. So I'm just going to say goats. It uh, sounds better. It's a lot easier to say goats. So you've got those three manufacturers. Um, and I'm going to move the camera over here and get into each one individually. Um, I'm going to tell you right now, Victor Reigns, garbage. Um, other head gaskets, pretty good. Uh, and you have OE, which is original equipment. Now, original equipment, I believe that head gasket is made by GOATS because it does have the GOATS logo on it. That being said, it does vary from the OEM GOATS. Now, I don't know if maybe, I know Federal Mogul, I think, owns GOATS. I don't know if there's another company in there that kind of uh, makes it. I don't know if they just make it to a different standard. But there are small variations between the GOATS and the OE GOATS head gasket. 
um, every camera over here and uh, get into detail with that. Okay, so this is the Victor Reigns head gasket. Okay, now I'm going to try to put these right on top of each other so you can kind of get a better idea. So as you could see here, the Victor Reigns gasket has the least amount of um, this red silicone. Uh, it's not even on the ends. Nothing is there. Okay. So least amount of silicone beads. Um, it has it. It's hard to describe, but it's it's not as coated as as you could you could really tell with these two. They're almost they're almost tacky with with what they're coated with. Um, so it's just such a big quality difference between the L ring, the goats, and the VR. Um, so VR garbage. Don't run it. Have seen more people have problems with it than anything else. Now let's look at these two L ring and goats. Now the L ring has two thinner silicone beads where the goats has a double line on one end and over here a, a solid a thick silicone bead. Now on the oil feed over here you've got the split right here with the silicone bead. With the L ring you just have one large port here. This is how it is on the OE head gasket. Um, it's not like this. It's like see right here? So do I think this is a problem? No, because L ring has worked. I've used L ring before on stock builds and it's fine. The GOATS is a little bit better. The price difference isn't much. If you had no choice and this is all you have, I wouldn't think twice about it. If you were doing a turbo supercharged build and you had a choice only between these two go with the goats um it, it is a better gasket it is a better gasket um, for the most part though they're very similar um, they both feel really well um and so okay see right here you've got no silicone you have silicone over there we flip it over again you have a silicone bead here silicone bead here on this end you do have silicone on both sides. It's another just like I said thing to note. That's why I'm saying the goats is better than the um, and the L ring. Not by much, but it is better. Now I'm going to bring the OE head gasket in here. Now we've got OE goats L ring garbage. So if we look at the goats, we'll notice there's a sorry. There's a goats, that's their symbol right there. And it's also on the OE gasket. So that's why I'm thinking the OE is made by goats. Um, uh, they're very similar. The OE has a bit of a different finish to it. It seems like it's got a very, like a thicker layer of whatever they spray on these things. Um, the material is maybe a little different, but they are identical in a lot of ways. Uh, as you can see, we have a, a single bead of red silicone. Over here, we've got the single bead of silicone with an additional black bead on top of it. Um, and again, we have nothing here, but if we flip it over, we do have it on this side. So, like I said, there are small differences here. We've got two black lines of silicone instead of the two red. I honestly couldn't tell you the differences besides the colors. Um, and on the back side, again, uh, instead of the two red, we've got we've got black all the way around. Now, this is the head gasket I've always recommended for turbo or supercharged builds. If you look at my stock head gasket here, my old head gasket, you can see I've got where the O-rings have bit into the uh, metal around the uh, cylinders. Um, this head gasket is, is, was in fine shape when I pulled it out. It's uh, we just did some head work. Thank you, Beamer Heads. It's perfectly fine. I mean, I'm obviously not going to run it again. It's one-time use, but I just wanted to show you guys that now. <laughs> now let's talk about B 
BMW being BMW, I noticed a lot of quality drop dropping. I noticed a lot of things have dropped in quality uh, as of recent. Um, I don't know why this is different. And mind you, I've gotten two of these head gaskets the same way. And I don't know why this is. So this head gasket, thankfully, uh, Levent had on the shelf um, dated 2006. Um, and this is how I remember the OE head gaskets looking. Because when I did my build about three years ago, this is what I got. So when this came, I was like, oh, that doesn't look quite right. I got another one. It's still the same way. And BMW has about 40 of these stock nationwide. So as far as I could tell, these are probably all new head gaskets. Um, and if you look carefully, this focuses. So this red bead is just, it's like a, just a dry red bead of silicone. Hey, there's, there's, it's like, it just feels like literally like, like rock. Compare it to that. Let's just put these next to each other. You can get a good idea here. Huge difference in appearance. The gasket itself is barely coated with that, with that, whatever they coat it with. Um, just barely coated on here. It's very dry. Uh, it looks, it almost, I would say it's an old, like 20 year old head gasket, but you know, this head gasket is from 2006, which is 13 years old, and, it, and it's perfect, you know? And when I got the, uh, the sticker that comes on the package, it was dated uh, January of 2019. Now, I ordered these, this head gasket recently, so I, it wasn't an order date. I assume it had, like, a stock number and a bin number, so I assume it's kind of, it's when they, when they stocked it, probably. Um, so, these are the new OE head gaskets, and to be honest... Unless you have an old one sitting on the shelf, I highly recommend instead of getting OE, getting goats instead. Um, I mean, the, the quality difference is just like, I'm blown away. And this has happened on a lot of BMW stuff. Quality has gone way down. I mean, like I said, it's, it's, it's hard to kind of see, but... It's just super dry, super just, you know, looks nothing like the original one does. And mind you, again, if you look right here, we've got that same goatsy symbol. So I'm not sure, I'm not sure why this is. I don't know if this is like, you know, maybe there's a handful that look like this and they were like, sure. Or if they're all like this. I'm, I'm not sure. So no longer am I going to recommend Noe head gasket unless you've got something that looks like this. Okay. Get a goat's head gasket. Not an Noe head gasket unless it looks like this. Um, put this somewhere. Hopefully that helps you guys. Um, again, Victor Reigns. Crap. Um, L ring, good. Uh, goats, what I recommend now. OE head gasket, the original one, if you could find it, still number one. And the other OE head gasket, I'm just like super depressed. These are expensive. One more thing to note, BMW will sometimes take a Victor Rains head gasket. They will stamp BMW on it and then they will charge you OE prices. So if you order a OE head gasket and you get a Victor Rains head gasket or any other one, chances are they just stamped it with a BMW logo and said OE head gasket now. So it's very important when you order a gasket that you specify exactly what you want um, because otherwise you're going to get whatever you get and you don't want this one. Uh, I think that about sums everything up. Um, I think that's about it. 
Okay.